Hey buds, welcome back to Madibles and welcome to our reaction. We're doing the, the, the thing. We're, do, we're starting with the has been hotel reaction stuff today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're doing the pilot because a lot of people were like, watch the pilot, watch the pilot, watch the pilot. We're gonna watch the pilot. It's uh, it's 30 minutes. So you're welcome. Let's get into it. Hi, how's it going? Check out this thing. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, just a reminder again, um, we should be good for, for reactions uh, for the has been hotel stuff. If I need to put a blurb over it, uh, I'll definitely put a non blur version on Patreon if, anyone, if anyone, again, completely optional. It's just if people want the clear version or whatever it needs to happen for it, that's where that will be. Otherwise, I will put as much of it as I can on YouTube without disturbance. So we're going to try doing uh, one episode a week and then we'll knock this thing out. All right. Sound good? Hope everybody enjoys the reaction as much as I will probably do. Sp Spindle horse. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. Happiness. And to find it, how often I've tried. But my life is a race, just a wild goose chase. And my dreams have all been denied. Uh, just again. Fair warning. I like to pause a lot and break things down and like, if I can go frame by frame on the show, I not like all throughout the entire show, but like uh, if I could break things down and like see things like that, I will. Um, even though I'll probably be on a different player because YouTube is still the best player for everything I watch things on. So this episode, I'll definitely break things down and stuff, but and the other ones I might just need to pause and talk about it and then move forward. Um, I don't know if I got a response about it, but do, who does the writing for the music? Cause even like the beginning of this is like, that's, that's still beautiful. Why have I always been a failure? What can the reason be? I wonder if the world's to blame. I wonder Jesus. if it could be me. I'm telling you, angels are weird as shit, dude. They're scary looking. I'm always chasing rainbows, watching clouds drifting by. My schemes are just like all my oh. dreams, ending in the sky. Some fellows look and find the sunshine. She is sick. I don't know any of these other people yet. Some fellows make a winning sometime. I never even make a game believe me. I'm always chasing rainbows. Waiting to find a Huh. So this was right after the uh the attack. Right? Next cleanse, that's what they were talking about in that one song. That's crazy. That's impactful. She probably feels so bad. Right? You know? <laughs> oh, poor Charlie. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. Got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, <laughs> slut. <laughs> Ouch! Okay. Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Tell the missus I said hi. Snuck him. Back up. Put him on my He's already in here. I love it. Yoink! Hey! Up yours, drag show! <gasps> oh, 
my god! My drugs! Damn it! <laughs> okay. They really just had drugs out of a vending machine? I mean... Those are the cowardly sinners! Dare not hinder my territorial takeover! A wise decision! The power of my machines are unmatched! No other demon can compare to the likes of I! Gee, that was pretty swell, boss! Yeah! You really showed them what for! I kinda love these eggs. I don't know what it is, I always love minions that are extremely supportive and that they, they all kind of look the same. I would love them. They're very cute. I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. At this rate, I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp! Oh! Boy! Hell will be mine! And everybody will know the name of Sir Pen Lord! Pardon? Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Speak up! That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Real quick, I love his little snake wallpaper here. All right, this is this is lovely. It's like a cute little design. Wait, is this his head here? But like, why would you want to like control a piece of this place? You know, I mean, everybody wants control over something at some point, but like, there's always going to be that overlord, right? Lucifer, weren't we talking about him like owning this section or like running this section, something like that? So, like, what are these other people doing? Like, the TV guy, he want to, like, own some power. I, you, you won't be stronger than the angel guy, right? Or my, am I missing? Oh, I mean, I guess we'll find out as we go. You looking for a fight, old man? Oh my god, it's this chick. I forgot all about her. I forgot to make, get wallpaper and hang her up everywhere. She can ruin my life. Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. Good afternoon. I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over- I, I was gonna read all this down below. Wait, there is a lot going on down there, actually. Maybe, maybe we will. Huh. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's watch through it, and then I want to read it real quick. Um, after the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a limp dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say... <laughs> No, Dick. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. Wait, so he does run Hell, but then there was like different sections of Hell. So does he run the whole thing? All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little bit. All right, all fair. Let's go back a little bit. I just, I just want to stop at a few points of this, because so, all right, so this little thing down here is a ticker. All right. I feel like it's, it doesn't make sense anymore because no one, well, I guess some people watch the news, but I feel like the people that actually watch the news are people are, that are not gonna be able to read at this kind of speed, you know? So let's just go through it a little bit. Keep your toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it! More. Oh! You wanna go, Missy? Good afternoon, I'm Katie Killjoy. And oh my god, okay. I think if the, oh shit, if the frame rate was higher, we'd be able to do it a little bit smoother. Uh, surrounding area. Oh, is this actual just news? Areas covered in debris. <laughs> so please avoid downtown. 
on your commute today. Traffic is hella backed up. I <laughs> uh, get it, hell. Uh, but with an A at the end. Oh, come on, a little bit faster. That's a word for younger. That's a word younger people seem to enjoy using. I don't really like it though. Shit, because it seemed like the n natural kind of pun to make for this situation. Okay, hey, let's let's get up a little bit, huh? It's, it's hard because I can't scroll through. I can only get a few frames, and that's it. But now that I see it in text, I feel like it was a mistake. A mistake I can't take back. Like cheating <laughs> on my wife. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Martha. Come on, I gotta, I gotta click this faster. I shouldn't have done it. But you did gain a lot of weight after the baby. And I really needed uh, some space. God. You know what? No. That was a good call. <laughs> Uh, I banged the cleaning lady. God, I wish I could do this faster. And that was a pretty nice time. <laughs> Even though she laughed at me when I told her I could Here, let's see if I can jump. Shit. When I told her I couldn't get off unless she licked my foot first. This, this could be a true story, by the way. I don't see how that's weird. <laughs> or how it's a weird request. Maybe if I just gotten a hooker, she would have been more agreeable. Okay. The point is, my wife was a fucking bitch. <laughs> One time, oh god, we have a whole story here. I feel like we have to, right? We have to do this. One time we went to the zoo and I got really mad because I thought the orangutan was making fun of me. Okay. He kept doing that stupid duck lip face. Question mark? The one where their lips get all puckered. Then it starts, then it started screaming. And that really pissed me off. <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. My wife told me it was just a monkey and to calm down. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> okay, you remember what to say? Okay. Oh, it's that Yes! Chick. Let's do this! Just look at me, and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Baggy, I know what to say! Baggy? Is that short for... Virginia? Baggy. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing, sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because Cute. I know you, but please don't sing. Oh, real quick. People, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people. I got some comments saying that people, like, think I was, like, simping for, uh, for Charlie. I just love her energy and her sweetness. She's like a pure soul in a dark place, all right? It's just, it's a very cute character design, all right? I'm, <laughs> I looked up some of the information that you guys were telling me about this. Someone, everybody kept saying like, he's gonna drop 50K, 50K this, 50K that. Uh, and then someone said this person's name. So I Googled it and you can guess what I found or at least learned about. And uh, I don't think I would ever spend that kind of money to do that kind of thing. It's, it's kind of a lot, and I kind of wish I didn't look it up. But I thought you guys were talking about money. They're like, oh, this guy's about to drop 50k on a... Well, I guess it technically would be money, but I thought it was like editors or something, not other things. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. 
Uh, it's all highlighted. <laughs> Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Oh, she's cute! Thor's unicorn kisses with this little... <laughs> This little kissy unicorn, dolphin high fives, and sing show tunes. Happy ending. I love this. Look at everybody's getting along. Cute. Everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. I'll just have to result to my impeccable improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Yep. Oh my god. And she's gay, that's so cute. How's, uh, how's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking set. That's a very... Look at this picture. That's a, that's a human. Guaranteed cannibalicious? Who approved this show? <laughs> I mean, he's a handsome dude, but... That's kind of nuts. Make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean Murder, shit sex, me. weather. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tux-wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live! Welcome back! Go, Charlotte! That is... Charlie. What? Yeah. It is Charlie. I, how do you get away with threatening the person that runs everything down there, his daughter? Right? I mean, he, he is like a nice guy, but like, I'm a nice guy. If someone threatened my daughter, if I had one, like, I would bury them with a smile. Not with my smile, but like, while I'm burying the... Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well... <clears throat> Get him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We had a whole cast there. our news station about. Well... Let's see him. Wow. Look, look. I'm, this is what I'm telling you. We have a 30 minute thing here. This is gonna be an hour long because of all this. So we have a clown. Oh, look at, she is so sweet. That's cute. All right, okay. Words. Oh, he's here. Is that him, him, or is that a different guy? It's gotta be him, him, right? It's very scary now that I see the eyes here. But he's wearing a different shirt. We have a mime. Dude, these guys are kind of nuts. I thought that was the snake guy in the back. Oh, there's she. Okay, cute. As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and... Growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We... we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance! I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence! Preach! So, I've been thinking. Isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. It's very sweet. So there is a... There's a limited amount of space in hell, but unlimited space in heaven? I feel like, depending on the religion, there would be so many people in hell that the hell would need more space. Since heaven's so, like, VIP, you know? I feel like that's backwards. You know, cause hotels are for people passing through, temporarily. <laughs> 
Is this girl for real? She thinks it. You hear what she thinks? She. <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards reception. Yay! Oh my god. That was Alistair, right? It looked like him. I feel like it it's fine because some maybe some people go to hell like with the that was just in a bad place at a bad time. It gives you it gives you a chance to like be like I fucked up, kinda like what I was talking about in the other video, and like, hey, I I I wanna work on that. I think it's great. Stupid bitch. Look, every single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. I have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind right here in hell. Catering to a specific clientele. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is a shiny smile. Inside of every creepy hatchet wielding maniac is a jolly, happy, cupcake loving child. We can turn them well. That was a cute little scene. There's a lot of jumping around, and I, I feel like I would go back, but there were, like, cute little, like, just little beep, boops. Uh, the fact that she threw that person's drugs in the fire was just, like... <laughs> it was funny. Okay, well, that... Look at that. That's nuts. That's a little scary. That's a scary Charlie. All right. Look at she goes insane. Hold on, what'd that shirt say? So why you My waifu. <laughs> There's titties! No, we can't show that! Get that out of there! Oh no. I'm gonna lose the channel, man. Would you guys come find me again if I lost my channel? <laughs> Great song. Wow, that was shit. <laughs> what in the nine? They have a boo section. Only one person booed in the boo section. All right. I can't believe we're already 20 minutes in and we're only 11 minutes in. I got. I gotta move up forward a little bit. What in the nine circles makes you think? A single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person. You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, yeah. we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named. Angel Dust? The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, I beg to differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news! Oh no. We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than porn actor Angel Dust. Oh, I gotta look around. My camera's blocking this thing. Angel Dust in, well, okay. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually a funny name. What a juicy coincidence! You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Ratings! <laughs> Don't look at this! Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us, how does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how- This is like the definition of like, what's the worst that could happen? This is the this is the act the the absolute worst. If you're ever about to do a presentation or a project, it will never go worse than this. I'm pretty sure. This is on live television, and then the whole per like the person that you were rooting for like pops up on like th it, there's no way. All right. <sighs> All right, let's go. How does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. <laughs> you kidding? This is the best action I've seen in ages. Where you been anyway? I thought you up and died or some shit. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Oh. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Ah. <sighs> you know. Oh, he's taking advantage of her. No fights. Problematic language. Her words, not mine. <laughs> These crazy bitches are no fun. I've been clean for two weeks. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, sort of clean. As clean as you can get. Or a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> oh, harder, daddy. Son. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. <laughs> no, honestly. It's something I should have expected, but didn't. But I'm glad it was there. <laughs> you whores have no class! In war, the side remembered is the side with the most... Style! Or the side that ain't dead! Speaking of style, is your hat, like, alive or something? Oh, well, I had the same question! Because there's an eye on it. But then you guys said... Wait. I remember reading a comment saying if they die, so if someone dies, their eyes get like put into an object. That's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to blow you to bits. Mm, kinky. Oh, not like that, pervert. <laughs> not so cocky now, are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Uh, I've yeah. been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little ball gonna cause? Why won't anyone help me? Glad you have oh my god. <laughs> so much going on, dude. These poor eggs, where does he get all these eggs from? Have it changed. You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Born ready, baby. It's a vibe. What? 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 What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that result in territorial genocide. <laughs> she's got she's got a point. <laughs> you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. Oh, come on, I had to. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? What about the hotels? Your little stunt? Does he have boobs or is it just a lot of fur? I never looked into it. I don't know if I should look into it. 
made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. I made you look, uh, sad and pathetic like an orphan with no arms or legs what god uh, oh, with progeria great now i'm bummed thinking about it this thing have any liquor can you please just try to take this seriously fine i'll try just don't get your taco in a twist baby was that you trying to be sexist or racist whatever pisses you off more is there seriously no liquor in here i'm gonna kill him too late but wait would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? That's what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used to it. <laughs> Listen, who cares if some Jagoffs got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down you're here. You're one to talk. Hey, this body is flawless. Oh. Everyone wants some of me, and I got the creepy <laughs> fan that is to prove it. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta read it. Gotta read it. Show me you. Show me you feet. Show me you feet. Brian. Bryron. Number one fan critic. Show me you feet. <laughs> Look how cute he looks, though. He's got little penis things in his eyes. Little penis. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that is him, right? It's a lot of hair. So I wasn't sure. Huh. That was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna want to stay at the hotel. All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Ah, oh, well, shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Baggy. It'll be okay. Angel Dust is very, uh, problematic, currently. And I'm, and I'm a rooter for Angel Dust, so we'll see how his character progresses. But right now, him against Charlie, it, it tears me apart. You can't bend over like that. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> oh. Uh, he felt bad for a second. We have a chance. Mom, who's her mother? I don't think I saw anything. Okay. Hey, Mom. Um, I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Really busy. But, um, the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, oh, Mom. God. I... I think Dad was right about me. What did he say? <laughs> anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Love you. Bye. What did he say? Salister. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, Baggy. <laughs> what? The radio demon is at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. Well, it's a rehabilitation. May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show. I like the fact that they made his voice trickle back to normal. 
once he took the mic away, but now the mic's not near his face, so now I don't I don't get when the And I just couldn't resist what a performance! Why I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929! <laughs> so many often Stop right there! God wrong equal to bear. I know your game. The hell did you just say? I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous cheesy <laughs> talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Oh my god! Okay. <sighs> now I'm here because I want to help! <sighs> Say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Why, why is he the scariest character in hell? Is the radio guy. Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear! Um, you want to help with... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do! This hotel! I want to help you run it! But... Why? <laughs> why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I've come to crave a new form of entertainment! Ha ha ha! Does getting into a fistfight with a reporter count as entertainment? Ha ha ha! It's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Considered an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. Okay. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. I, I don't think we should let him in. He has so many red flags about him. <laughs> right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? Uh, but she does so, need help. Uh, what's the deal with smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've no. been here longer than me. The radio demon, one of the most powerful beings hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Why? Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in hell, seemingly overnight. He began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. All, all I recognized there was a TV guy. There was some guy that looked like an owl. I'm interested to see what the other super powerful people are in hell. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? <laughs> he looks like a strawberry pimp. Well, I don't trust him. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men? Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. It's pure evil. He can't be redeemed. Why does she have that little sticker eye? Like if she is missing an eye, what, like it, is it just, I guess it just could be just a design choice. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I, The only other people I saw that had X's on their faces were were they not the people in the beginning? The little like the there's like angels up here that had Where where were they? Where were they? Well if they pop up again, I'm gonna pause on it.
Because they had X's on their eyes. Or at least one. I don't know. Could be irrelevant. We don't know that. Look, right? I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. Dude, her mom? Yo. And, and our short king? I... There's not a single hint. I have no idea. To have faith, things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. Everything I believe in. Just trust me. I can take care of myself. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Okay, okay. so... Now, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. Oh my god! But I don't. <laughs> Hold on, what were those? What were those? I want to know what that is. There's like... I don't recognize any of these symbols. I don't know if you guys do. One of them's the serpent with the staff through it, or an arrow. There's like a balance thing. There's like a... I... There's a compass... These could be all like demonic symbols or something. Go. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better. So I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then? Oh my god. Nope. No shaking. No deals. I... She's mm. smart. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. She's so cute. Uh, sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. Okay. <laughs> Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. He is so sketchy. He's very cool and scary. Very sketchy. So where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! Ah, no. <laughs> you're lost. <laughs> what a what a interaction! One more time. Oh, you're going to need more than that. <laughs> what could you do, my feminine fellow? I could suck your dick. No. <laughs> and what can you do, my feminine fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! Ah, no. You're lost. Well, this just won't do. Yeah. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. That's the, she was from the music video, she got stuck in the toilet. This little darling is Nifty! Hi, I'm Nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since they've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I didn't mean that here! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my gosh, this is awful! Nope, 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 <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> I love her. She gets shit done. Ah, freedom and weep, boys. Oh. What the hell? What? The yeah, what the hell was that? The fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you could make it. Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you too. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You Dude, everybody is so sassy and angry towards people that they probably should not be sassy and angry towards. Right? If this guy po like poofed you into existence over here, I would I wouldn't be yelling at him. You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. 
I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I like figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. What? You think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well, you can. Hey, 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 hey. No, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of now brothel man -tay. Shut up! Shut up! We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. Only if you watch me. Oh my gosh! Welcome to the Happy Hotel! You are going to love it here! I lost the ability to love years ago. So, what do you think? This is amazing! It's very cute. It's it's a it's like quite a a fun little power to be able to like boom maid boom bar guy, you know, it's I just I don't know what his end game is, and it's gonna be very interesting to see. And if he hurts Charlie, I'll be very upset. But I don't want him to scare me either. It's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. <laughs> you have a dream. You wish to tell. And it's just laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. Or an eighth incestful with some old redemption flair and show these simpletons some proper class and style. Oh, here below the ground, I'm sure your plan is sound. They'll spend a little time down at this has been home. Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alastor. Do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. This show really works off of people cutting each other off. It's almost like bread and made for ADHD people because like the second one thought ends, another one just inserts itself. It just continuously moves. I, it, this thing is, we're already 29 minutes in. It didn't feel like it. I'm, I've been recording for 48 minutes. What? I'm so evil. Wait, what, what is that little egg say? There was more eggs. More eggs, more, 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 more numbers, more letters, whatever they are. A, A1, 13. Is there another one? Again. Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir. This is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. Now. Stay tuned. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, there's an after credits thing. Hold on. I usually go through the credits. I just feel bad that I've already recorded. This is gonna be a long video. Thank you to each other person helping out with the project. I never thought I'd do this. Very cute. That's very sweet. Now 
Now will you shoot me with your ray gun? Oh, okay. Animation is basically not so much a technical implement as an expression, as the expression of the spirit behind it. To see what that spirit does, goes into your shooting must be your overriding ambition. Cursive kind of goes back and forth for me. God, I really hope you guys don't mind a long episode because that's, I guess that's probably how it's going to be from now on. I mean, this one was a little bit longer because the other ones I think you guys said were 20 minutes long. So it shouldn't be too bad. All right. Um, but just bear with me. This one's definitely longer than it probably will be. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably release some Thursdays or Fridays. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right. Appreciate you guys being here. Please let me know if you have any, I guess, if I, if you want to answer any of my questions that aren't super spoilery or anything. Uh, have a fantastic week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for enjoying this journey. Thank you for staying until the outro, too, by the way. Uh, otherwise, subscribe to Madables for more reaction content. See you.